We just saw our program get slow. Let's make it fast with memoization. Memoization is a simple idea that can have a huge impact on the running time of a program. Memoization means remembering the results that have been computed before by a function. We define a higher order function memo that takes in a single argument function f and keeps a cache, which is a dictionary, from argument values to return values of f. So the memoized version of f takes in some argument n, checks whether or not n is in the cache already. So is this an n I've seen before or not? If it's not an n I've seen before, then I have to call f in order to figure out what f of n is. And then I store f of n in the cache associated with input n. Then I return the cache. Notice that this happens whether or not I found n in the cache. So if f n was already in the cache, then we skip this line, but we return f of n there. And then finally we return memoized. So the cache keeps a mapping from argument values to return values. It remembers what f does. So the memoized version of f has exactly the same behavior of f, except for maybe it's a lot faster. That's true if f is a pure function. Okay, let's put this into our program and see what it does. So here's memo. It defines a new version of f called memoized, which keeps a mapping from argument values to return values in a cache. Every time a new n is passed in, we check and see if n is not in the cache, at which point we put it in associated with whatever is the return value of f on argument n. We always return what's in the cache, and we know n is in there now, because we put it in if it wasn't before. And then finally we return memoized. So this is returning the function defined here, which behaves just like f, except for uses a cache. We can use this as a decorator to memoize both fib tree and count entries. So now if we run our code, we can compute fib tree on some large number, say 35, and it happens instantly now, whereas fib tree 30 before was very slow. What if we want to count the entries in t? Well, there are 18 million of them and we computed them instantaneously. Why is this running so fast? Well, it's because when I call FibTree35, on the left-hand side, I have FibTree33. And then on the right-hand side of the right-hand side, I have FibTree33 again. Do I really want to build it twice? Well, I'd rather not. And that's what memoing does is it says, once you've built FibTree33, just remember what it looks like and use it again. Here's the actual FibTree for 6, which has the 6 Fibonacci number, which is 5 up at the top. And what happens when I compute this thing? Well, to create it, I have to create Fib4 and Fib5, and then put those together into FibTree6. So let me depict the computation, which follows this traversal of the tree and see where we actually call FibTree or where we just find the answer already in the cache. So for computing FibTree6, we have to compute FibTree4, which involves computing FibTree2, which is one. We've never done that before, so we called FibTree. We also have to call FibTree1, which is zero. But when we get around to calling FibTree2 a second time, well, it's already in the cache. We have to complete a call to FibTree3 and a control to FibTree4. So most of the work that we've done before, or so far has actually been calling FibTree. But the savings come when we find the same repeated structure on the other side. So here we can compute FibTree3, 
without ever going and looking at its leaves, because we already know the answer. We know exactly what it looks like. And likewise, we can compute fib tree 4 instantaneously, just by finding it in the cache. So now, computing fib tree 5 here just combines two things that we've already seen, and that allows us to build the whole tree. So how big is this difference? Well, let's say I'm calling fib tree 35. How many distinct trees are there with memoization? There are 35 of them, one for each number. How about how many distinct trees there are without memoization? Well, we counted all those elements, and there are 18 million trees. So we're getting a huge savings by not duplicating all the work of computing these extra trees that we've already computed. Instead, we just remember them, and that saves us a lot of memory and a lot of time.